Uh, continuing here, Natural News reports, Oklahoma lawmaker wants to stop Pepsi from using aborted fetus cells in soda flavoring research. This is out of Natural News. It is confirmed Pepsi has a division that is involved uh, in using fetal parts. But what I can confirm is that it's in most of the vaccines. That's 100% confirmed. There is a potential that there are companies that are using aborted human babies in their research and development of basically enhancing flavor for artificial flavors, said uh, the representative. He's quoted as saying by KRMG News Talk Radio, what I'm saying is, is that it does happen, then we are not going to allow it to be manufactured here. Lena Fakina runs seminars teaching her extreme brand of baby yoga on the beaches of Dahab, Egypt. Knocked unconscious, a pregnant woman recovering tonight after a random attack. This was all caught on camera. She was knocked to the ground, you'll see here, but thankfully she and her baby are okay. Cops believe the attack could be connected to a knockout trend where criminals try to punch victims unconscious with a single blow. Earlier this week, 72-year-old Donald Lathram was randomly punched in the head while walking down a West Village street. is dead and a Christian Holocaust is in our midst. Day by day, it's getting worse and worse. More children are being beheaded. You're, you're startling me with the severity of what you're describing. You say they are beheading children? They are systematically beheading children and mothers and fathers. The world hasn't seen an evil like this for generations. And turning on the health news, it could have a big impact on your life and your family. Researchers with a biomedical technology company and the Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, are currently testing a contraceptive with wireless capabilities. It is a microchip that is implanted under the skin and can deliver tiny amounts of hormone, like a birth control pill. Some experts point out that women already have implantable birth control options like the IUD, but many still choose the pill. Researchers plan to test this technology in women in 2016. The device would cost around $1,000. We'll have more on this story ahead today on Local 12 News at 5.30. You open up your mailbox someday soon and you find a new credit card marked with a microchip. Credit card companies are making the move to protect all of us from hackers. Well, credit card companies say that a microchip on your card is a better way to store your information and to keep you safe. A lot of these big name retailers are switching over to the microchip scanners. You say you think most big stores are accepting the chip technology, but not all yet? 
Well, I think they're switching over to it. I think it's going to be a process. I read something earlier tonight that said that credit card companies are telling stores to really get ready for this by the fall of 2015. New Why you keep asking me about her? She's not here right now. She yeah. Why you keep asking me about her? She's not here right now. Why you keep asking me about her? She's not here right now. She yeah. Why you keep asking me about her?